I'm Scott Rankin, president of Nextcar, and we're totally about connecting vehicles to everything. That's what we do. So we make smart cars smarter. The genesis is we started looking at the more than 100 million cars that are out there currently that are not connected, and we wanted to see how to connect them. So these are both new and primarily older cars. So our whole, our whole you know, point is to provide you with as much connectivity as a Tesla that can be added to your car, so you too can be part of the connected network of things. So that's really the focus of the company, is to enable pre-existing drivers to be part of the connected car revolution. And beyond that, of course, we're looking at newer vehicles, autonomous vehicles, but our starting point is to make your next car a next car. We've developed our own uh, uh, hardware that can be put in as an aftermarket product uh, through dealerships. And essentially what that provides you with is extraordinary connectivity, the ability to upgrade your vehicle with high-speed in-car uh, in Wi-Fi, ability to connect to other devices like Nest computers at home, uh, and also to be able to be part of the whole infrastructure of IoT from a connected car platform perspective. So we're working with IBM and other partners to really push the envelope on what's possible and to take that really from, uh, take our cue from what's happening in the industry right now in terms of security, it's a big part of our story, and also enabling applications to be added to your car as you drive. So over the air application of new software and new technologies. So our whole thing is to future-proof your cars so they can be part of the connected car revolution. What's next for us is really to uh, deepen our connections with our partners to be able to roll out what we hope will eventually be the largest connected car fleet in North America and then beyond leveraging the connectivity that's there with folks like Sprint and other people we're working with, but also to be part of the, the whole evolution of the vehicle as a thing on the internet. It's no longer just a separate item, it's integrated into everything that you do. And then from there, to connect that to as much as we can, as fast as we can. Sure, it starts from being able to understand how your car behaves, to make it a safer ride, a better ride, and also to take that so that you make it easier for people who come into your vehicle to connect to the web. So that's why we offer in-car high-speed Wi-Fi. Uh, we also offer the ability for our partners to do things like add distracted driving applications. So it's really a platform for making your car far more connected and then evolving that experience as you drive the vehicle and eventually as you buy new cars, we expect to be in those as well. How to be, at, well, you have to basically be, uh, you know, keep your eyes open, but you can't see everything, so you have to work with people that are doing it for you. So it's really about building partnerships and ecosystems. So we've intentionally aligned ourselves with some of the biggest automotive and IT, you know, IoT brands. So we're gonna keep on doing that. That helps, helps, helps keep us ahead of the curve, right? Uh, so it's about who you partner with and uh, who you hang with. And also, um, if you're intentionally trying to disrupt, then you have to sort of live, live, that, live that code and, and always be asking yourself, what can I do to actually make what I'm making better? And if you have to, you, 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 know, you cannibalize yourself as you go. One of the things that we really are focusing on as a company is that the number one uh, thing you want is a, is a safe and secure a connected car. So that's really a priority of our company is working with, uh, with IBM and other partners to make sure that we can bring to market the most secure IoT technology in the world. That's really one of our, 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 one of our core goals of our company. Think in terms of your strategy and, and how it can evolve to accommodate these technologies. So you have to be able to almost self-cannibalize. You don't want to be the blockbuster. <laughs> you know, you don't want you don't you want to think in terms of okay, I'd rather be Netflix than Blockbuster. So how do I do that? So one of the things is to look at your business and say, is it time for me to put some things aside and embrace new tech, or am I going to just stick with the model I know? So part of that comes from a culture of people say a lot, but a culture of real innovation, which is you're really thinking about the small things you can do to implement a larger strategy. So if your strategy is to evolve your business, then you have to be very mindful of what's happening around you. But you also have to think in terms of uh, not necessarily believing in any, you know, the hype that's around. Is to think clearly about what you need to do. Uh, part of it's the speed, because you can go, in our case, you can go from literally concept to finished product in 12 months. So it's really the, the, the velocity of which you can move with things, because now there used to be, you know, you have to, you would spend $50,000 building something and you can now buy that you know, off Amazon. You can buy a Raspberry Pi as an example for $300, which can simulate 
you know, the whole work of a lab before. So you do have this ability to leverage technology that's out there. It's much more connectable. It's much more extensible. But you still have to start with a great idea. So if you have the idea, you have to execute on that. And so the speed at which you can bring things to market has increased. Also, the competitiveness to do that, to be first and best to market, is also there too. So you have to really factor in both. I would see what's coming down as what we characterize as uh, IoT 2.0, which is really about, uh, since we're at Watson here, we're talking about leveraging that technology, leveraging AI, so you can increasingly make IoT part of that in terms of edge computing, and uh, that's really a part of our focus too, is to help go from first generation IoT to, IoT to second generation, which is really a far more capable, secure, and, and intelligent IoT platform that can literally harness the collective power of billions of devices. The, these are devices that are out there now, but an entire whole new generation of IoT devices that's on the very cusp you'll be seeing in, uh, and reading about uh, over the next year or two. This is, a, this is a generational leap in IoT technology that's coming down the pipe. And we hope to be part of that.